All right, welcome everybody to another mixing video. Today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at Cubase Pro 9. Uh, this just came out today. I just got it today, obviously. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time today to to uh, work with this, but I will demonstrate for you today some of the cool features that I know that I'll be using a lot, as well as mention some of the things that uh, were included in this and that I haven't really gotten to play with yet. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So a new feature that is really cool is this new zones, uh, this zones tab up here. So as you can see, I can click the left zone to hide it, right? So you could see that I get a little bit more screen space there. Um, I could bring up the right zone and choose my VST instruments or media bay, which is really cool. And for me, the real winner of this the real winner of this entire update um, is that I can bring up the mixer down here and mix while I'm looking at the events in real time. Um, I know that they had like the waveform thing in the mixer window, uh, but to me that didn't really give a good representation of what was going on. I like being able to see the waveforms while I'm mixing, and this is really great. <clears throat> now that being said, sometimes of course I will open up the mixer window just because it's larger and um, I don't really have the greatest eyesight, so that'll really help me to enlarge this. Now, for one of the things that um, I really haven't gotten to play with, but is something that I think is really cool, is that there's this new built-in sampler. And you can um, drag an audio form in here, and uh, audio waveform. For example, I dragged the bass in here, and I can set my sample start and end. Uh, I could chop this up however I want. And then I can trigger it with a MIDI keyboard or this keyboard right here, which is really, really cool. So you can take a bass sound and play your own bass line after the bassist has left the studio or whatever. Really cool. But I think for me, what I'll be using most is this mix console down here. Um, as far as plugins, there is um, a couple new plugins. Uh, actually, let me rephrase that. There's one new plugin, and then there's a couple plugins that got uh, revamped GUI, and then a couple plugins that also were given kind of an update. So before I get to those, let me just show you the left zone here in the mixer window. So one of the great things here is that you can um, you can redo history here in in the mix window. So let's say that. Uh, I was going ahead and I wanted to change the volume of some channels. And uh, let's say that I decided that uh, I didn't really like the changes that I made. Well, I can go back and undo those. You can see that the faders jump back to where they were, which is really, really cool. Um, so that's something that I've wished that they had for a while because there's been times where I accidentally somehow hit this arrow here and no effect and uh, gotten rid of a plugin and then all of a sudden my settings were were gone and uh, I had to kind of remix it with with you know adding the compression or whatever it was back in so it's really cool that I could just bring that back and then if I don't like it being there all the time I can just hide it and then get more screen space so that's really cool now as far as the plugins I know that the envelope shaper got a new GUI and the compressor, so they just look a little bit different, but other than that, nothing is really changed. Um, the auto pan, which I have never actually used, um, I think that got an update and is a little bit different. And uh, the maximizer, which I'll show you in a little bit, also got an update. Um, if you still want your classic original maximizer, you can use it, um, but they updated it and added this modern section, and it sounds really great. Uh, I used it on this mix, which, by the way, this is just a rough mix. Um, this came from David David Glenn Recording, and uh, you get this if you sign up to his mailing list. If you haven't seen his YouTube videos, go check him out because he has some cool stuff on there. So uh, let me go ahead and show you the actual new plugin, which is really great. It's called Frequency, and it's an EQ plugin. You can see the bold EQ and frequency here. And what this is is an 8-band EQ, 
which is already cool because, you know, you can never have enough EQ bands. Um, and then each one of these can be either a stereo EQ, as you can see, ST, it says stereo here, or mid-side, which is great. Re makes it really, really flexible. Uh, this plugin is r extremely flexible. And another money part of this is that each one of these bands can be chosen to be a linear phase EQ, which is something that I've wished for for a long time in Cubase. So that is really great. You can see I have it activated on all these bands. And um, this kind of reminds me of the Fab Filter EQ. And um, one of the things that's similar to that is it has a listen function. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate the listen function for you. Um, and just so you can see what, what's going on there, I'll create a new band here. Um, I'll boost something. I'll make it a narrow cue. And then I'll show you the listen function on all the stuff that I already have here. So uh, let's take a quick listen, and then we'll jump to the Maximizer plugin after. So I'll bypass this first, and then we'll, we'll listen to what's going on. So you, you can really see how that, that can be really useful right there. Um, I think that's really handy, and that's one of the things I always liked about the Fab Filter EQ is that you can kind of boost and find a frequency that's kind of annoying that you couldn't really hear very well in the mix and uh, or something that was fighting or something that's ringing in like a snare drum or something, and you could pull that out. Uh, that's really, really great, really useful. Um, I think that I'm going to be using this EQ quite a bit and um that's that's really great because um i really didn't use the stock cubase uh eqs very much but to me this is a really great plugin and uh honestly for the update from 8.5 to 9 uh, i think this plugin alone was worth that price um so speaking of plugins that are great um i'm gonna go ahead and jump to this new maximizer plugin now, be warned that this is going to uh, be quite a bit louder. So you might want to turn your, your speakers or your headphones down. Um, but this is a really great plugin. And um, to me, the thing about limiters or maximizers or any kind of loudness enhancement is that you, you lose your transients and your dynamics a lot of time, uh, a lot of times. And to me, this plugin, this new revamped modern section of this maximizer, uh, it really preserves that well. I mean, obviously you have a mix knob. I think that was always there. But um, this recover and the soft clip and everything working together is just, it makes your mix louder, but it preserves the original tone, which is really great. Uh, and usually I use FGX for that kind of thing, but... Um, this thing holds its own. I mean, this thing is a free plugin that comes with, with Cubase now. So this is really cool. And all, all I used was a preset called Master Bus Dynamics Are Cool. And the only tweak that I did to this was I dialed the output back from what I think minus 0.3 dB to uh, minus 0.6 because this is going to be played on YouTube and... Uh, the way that it compresses things, it can, you can kind of get some artifacts sometimes. So I'll engage the plugin, and uh, we'll just listen to a little bit of the mix. I'll, I'll bypass it in and out, and you'll hear 
how it retains the the quality of the the dynamics and and the tone of the the mix but it just makes it really loud i don't know how else to say it so uh let's go ahead and listen to that and um i hope you enjoy this mix So I love that plugin. Uh, that preset is great. Uh, you might think it's a little bit heavy-handed on the gain reduction, almost seven and a half dB of gain reduction, but this is the mix knob is being dialed back. Um, but to me, it just sounds great. It sounds like my mix, but louder. Uh, maybe even just a tad bit punchier. Um, I really like the way that this handles the strings as well as the kick drum. And later on in the song, the guitar, the electric guitars. Um, but that is just a really cool, cool plugin. So to me, the frequency plugin, as well as this maximizer, are worth the money alone. Um, that's so, so cool. Um, so in general, I give this a thumbs up. Uh, I have, I had no problems installing this. Um, the one thing is that Cubase 9 now does not support 32-bit plugins. So I had a few plugins that were uh, what they called blacklisted. Let me pull that up. Um, if you see blacklist here, I have a few plugins that I can no longer use. A couple of freeware plugins. Um, and then a couple of plugins that just kind of crash during um, the opening of uh, Cubase. But, uh, you know, I didn't really use these delays that much anymore now that I have uh, the slate repeater. But, uh, yeah, I can't say that I have any issues with upgrading to this. Uh, I'm just extremely happy with it, and I love these new plugins and features. So I hope you learned something new from this. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that if you were thinking about getting Cubase 9 and you were kind of on the fence, that uh, this can kind of help you make your decision. Because I kind of was thinking, oh, maybe it'll be a little bit buggy. Uh, the one bug that I kind of just noticed now during this video is um, when you're using your listen mode, um, it says listen mid up there, but this is a uh, stereo track. Um, so it just kind of does whatever your last click was but see if i switch over to side now it'll say side but over here on stereo if i click that it says side still right so but if i switch here to mid then it says mid so uh that's a little bit buggy but that's okay um that's not really a big deal to me because i already know what i'm listening to by if i'm clicking on side i know i'm listening to side if i know that this is stereo i know that i'm listening to the stereo you know uh, if I do this and then go back to stereo, then it says listen to stereo, but that's not a big deal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. 
If you didn't, you can give it a dislike. That's okay. Um, I know I said this was going to be a quick video and ended up, ended up being kind of long-winded, but that's okay. Uh, I just really wanted to show you some of these cool features in here. Um, if you really like this video, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you so very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.